What's poppin' Jimbo? This is Absolution's trademarked parkour go tutorial. Uh, first things first, in a real run, what you'd want to do is you just want to go in and load every single level. Uh, just because the first time you load a level, it's a lot slower, and then any subsequent loads are quicker. I already did this before I started recording, so all these load times are pretty quick. But if you don't do this, sometimes it'll take like five, six seconds to load a level. And since it's an RTA run, you want to cut that time out of the equation. So time starts as soon as you hit level one. Boom, just like that. All right, level one is kind of difficult just because the timing of the jumps that you have to take to get up there is sort of precise. You have a little bit of wiggle room. Uh, but if you do mess up, you will fall and have to restart the level. But at least it's the first level, so it's not too big of a deal. So just jump, run off that edge, don't jump, and just make those couple of jumps, easy peasy. When you first start running it, it's kind of difficult, uh, but you'll get the hang of it pretty quick. Uh, slide into the end of the level and hit the split button as soon as you touch the red long boy. Level two, uh, just come up here, get over that building. Jump up here and uh, jump and land on this fence. If you land on the floor to the left of the fence, you'll die. If you land to the right of the fence, obviously you'll die. So just land on the damn fence. Come over here, wall run. Try to, try to time your jump so that you land right here instead of right here. It's a good rule of thumb. Jump up here, off the side of the building, grab that ledge like a real man. Don't land on the red square. It's not any slower, you just look like a pussy. Run, slide to the end of the level. Level 3 used to be a big pain in the ass, but now it's actually pretty easy. Uh, jump off here, try to land in this ballpark to uh, get this angle on this wall because you want to wall run and jump into the tube. If you land on top of it it's not a big deal you'll just have to fall down onto this platform and it takes like half a second a second. Wall run over here you can do a slide right there if you want. Run to this uh, little gap in the floor and then you want to wall run as soon as you hit your head on the ceiling turn around 180 and then you'll start shooting up the side of the building uh, as soon as you hit this ledge as soon as your head hits that ledge turn around again 180 and you'll be at the top of the building just like this easy peasy I'm gonna be saying easy peasy a lot I guess level 4 run straight Land on the red square like an asshole. Jump off the side of the building. You can survive any fall as long as you grab a ledge, which I uh, managed to not do there. So if you just landed on that building, it would kill you. But since you're grabbing a ledge, you'll survive it. Come over here, start wall running. Jump up to the top, oh my goodness, why am I not jumping? Jump up to the top of the building. And slide into the end of the level. Level six, try to wall run on this uh, platform and jump and try to get to the top of there. See, if you don't wall run, then you'll uh, just kind of spaz out. Uh, a lot of times what'll happen if you jump too early you'll uh, do this sort of thing. It's honestly not a big deal, just just get up here. Uh, there is this trick, if you wall run up and look right, you'll clip to the top of this fire escape. Just like, hey, I did it first try. Uh, it's kind of not very consistent, so if you don't get it, it's not a big deal. Just run up here. Get up here, go to this corner, invisible wall. You'll hit another invisible wall, which will cause you to stop. That's when you want to jump. You could jump a little bit before if you're feeling uh, particularly dangerous, but just to play it safe, you want to jump as soon as you stop. 
grab onto the ledge of the container, continue up here. Wall run on this pillar, and then you'll automatically grab this ledge. You don't have to jump or do anything special. You'll just grab it. Run up the stairs. To run up the stairs quicker, uh, just like get to this like like third stair from the top, jump. Get to this like second or third stair from the bottom, jump. Uh, try not to clip inside the stairs like that. Yeah, probably second stair, that's probably the way to go. You'll get a feel for it. Wall run on this pillar, jump, and grab onto right there. Boom. End of the level. Level six, just run straight, wall run on that, jump, grab that, up the fire escape. Do a couple of slides here. Jump, grab onto that. Jump on this uh, railing right here. You could go one of two ways. You can go the virgin way and drop and grab that ledge and just run and do the level like that, like wall run on this building and jump. Uh, but I do it the, uh, the, the high risk, high reward way, the real, the real Chad way. Uh, just run straight, wait a second, and then press D or hold D to start wall running. And then after a second of wall running, jump and then grab this fence. Uh, just watch my keyboard so you could see when to start uh, wall running and when to jump. It's all timing. So wall run, jump, easy. run to the end of this fence and then you want to run and fall off and grab this fence to the left so it's terrifying every single time you never get used to it jump up here run this way climb these boxes climb the stairs and that's level six level seven you can wall run off this box and jump to grab this ledge or you could just run up the stairs uh, obviously jumping is a little bit faster but you can mess up like that and it'll cost you a little bit of time I tested it saves exactly a half a second if you do it perfectly so I don't even know if it's worth it uh, this ledge is really fucking weird because sometimes you just won't grab it. Of course I'm grabbing it every single time because I'm trying to show you that it doesn't work. Uh, but yeah, see it just it doesn't work sometimes. Uh, how to get around that? Just grab it at a 45 degree angle and you'll do it every single time. It's amazing. So see 45 degree angle, boom. Run over here around the building, do a couple of slides. You can't grab this ledge or can you? I don't know. I, f I miss this ledge all the time. I think I don't fucking know how it works. Just try to... Yeah, you can grab it, but sometimes you just won't, and you'll fall to your death. So just be careful with that jump. Make sure you time it right. Around this building, do a couple of slides. Wall run, jump and grab that uh, fire escape. Make your way up here. These boxes... If you just try to jump up there normally, you will. There's a chance it'll get stuck inside of the box and you'll be unable to move. How I get around that is I just I hold right click. I don't know what the fuck right click does, but it prevents me from getting stuck inside those damn boxes. So just hold right click and then hold space and you'll climb up both of those boxes and this ledge like all in one, all in one movement. It's really neat. Wall run on this fence, jump onto that second uh, scaffolding platform, just like that. Over here, wall run, put yourself in between the box and the wall, just like that. Wall run up here, once you get to the apex of your wall run, jump and turn around and you'll clip inside of this building just like that and then inside of here you're stuck 
See, I can't move at all. Uh, but if you crouch and move forward a couple of feet and then stand up, you're golden. Run up here. It's really easy to fall off this pipe, so just run down the middle of it. If you run to the side, you'll probably fall off. Level 8 is a complete joke. Uh, you're just running straight. You can run and jump and climb up here, but it kind of breaks your momentum. You kind of have to watch this climbing animation. So to skip all that, just wall run up here. Just like that. It's a lot quicker. Make these jumps. Keep running. Uh, this level is all about holding W. Clip into this box. Come up here. Grab this uh, AC unit. Make sure you're not underneath this ledge, or else you won't like actually make the jump. You'll just hit your head. So avoid that. Do this little number. It's a lot easier than it looks. Just jump and you'll hit your head and land on top of that tube. Don't do whatever the fuck that was. Holy shit. <laughs> just, 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 just run. Just run to the end of the level. Don't, don't, I don't know what happened there. I got stuck inside of the corner of the building. This game's fucked. You'll, uh, you'll discover that after playing it for a while. So level nine, you have to climb up a, a bunch of flights of stairs. I, I know how to clip into this building, but unlike level 3, you don't shoot to the top of it. You'll actually uh, just fall. So un unfortunately, there's no, there's no skip here. You just have to do the stairs. If anyone discovers a way to do that in such a way that you'll shoot to the top of the building by clipping into it, then like that'd be great. Tell me how to do that. But as of now, you just kind of have to run up all these stairs. This last pillar on the right, wall run it, jump, and try to land on top of this red container. Uh, if you miss it, like if you jump too early, you'll land over here, which not a big deal, just get to the top. But it's always cool if you make that jump and land on the red container first try. Up here, what you want to do here is uh, wall run up here. Uh, I, I find it works better if you don't jump to wall run. If you just like run into it, you'll wall run. Uh, if you if you don't get it or if you jump too early, like if you jump too early, it'll uh, it'll wow I can't even. I'm trying to mess up the strat. If you jump too early, you'll fuck me. If you jump too early, you'll land over here. And in that case, you just climb up it normally. But if you're a baller, wall run and jump. Climb up this fire escape. Slide into level 10. Level 10 starts. Turn around. Make these jumps. Oh, I messed it up. I messed it up. Make these jumps. You want to jump on top of this fence and jump and try to land in this floor of the parking garage, just like that. What you want to do here, uh, get to this pillar, uh, wall run up it, jump and hold S and you'll fly over here and you'll uh, stick to this wall, jump and hold W and you'll go forward and land on top of here. So just like that, right? And then just jump to this building, make a couple of quick wall jumps, and that is the game. A couple of quick wall jumps, slide, end of the level. Boom, that is Parkour Go, speedrunning tutorial. Thank you, friends. I'm gone. <laughs>